Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 1. And now, O Yisrael, listen to the statutes and the rules that I am teaching you, and do them, that you may live and go in and take possession of the land that the Lord your God, the God of your fathers, Yahweh, is giving you. But now for us in this present day today, what is that and what does that mean to us? Well, that is for us to inherit access to Yahweh's heavenly kingdom within Yahweh's Son, our Messiah, Yeshua's second coming. You see, we must follow Yahweh's commandments and observe and follow them and know them. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 2, You shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I command you. So now, I ask you this. How many times has man took away or tried to add to Yahweh's words and commandments? You see, as with modern day Christianity, they are told that Yahweh's Old Testament commandments have been done away with. Nil to the cross, as they say. But now remember that Yahweh said this about his words and laws that you shall not add to the word that I command you, nor take away from it, that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God that I have commanded you. Not only that, but present day Christianity changes from observing Yahweh's high holy feast days, which were commanded, they changed it to observing man-made pagan holidays. Now, your eyes have seen what the Lord did at Beal Peor. For the Lord your God destroyed from among you all of the men who followed the Beal of Peor. But you, who held fast to the Lord your God, all of you alive today. See, I have taught you statutes and rules as the Lord my God commanded me, that you should do them in the land that you are entering into to take possession of it. Keep them and do them. For that will be your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the peoples, who when they hear of all these statutes will say, Surely this great nation is as wise and understanding of a people. For what great nation is there that has a God so near to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon him? And what great nation is there that has statutes and rules so righteous for all his law that I set before you today. Only take care and keep your soul diligently, lest you forget the things that your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from you and from your heart all of the days of your life. Make them known to your children and your children's children. Now remember that we are to teach our children and our children's children, as Yahweh tells us, to with the annual observance of such events as Passover. High Holy Feast Days. Now find out more about this at followyeshuanow.com with the instructions on how to observe Passover, Pesach, with the Messianic Seder. Now in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 15. Therefore, watch yourselves very carefully, since you saw no form on the day that the Lord spoke to you at Harab, out of the midst of the fire. Beware lest you act corruptly by taking a carved image for yourselves in the form of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any animal that is on the earth, the likeness of any winged bird that flies in the air, and the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the water under the earth. And beware lest you raise your eyes to heaven, and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars, all the hosts of heavens, you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them. Things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the peoples under the whole heaven. But the Lord has taken you and brought you out of the iron furnace, out of Egypt, Mitzrayim, to be a people of his own inheritance as you are this day. Now, when it comes to idolizing and creating and bowing down to these idols, I ask you this. How many of you have and wear sports figures jerseys all around and have more sports memorabilia around your house and homes or know a friend or family that does? Think about that. Now, how many 
have a man cave instead of a faith or prayer room are more jerseys than Torahs and Bibles and faith-based memorabilia. Things that edify you. How many talk more to friends and family about sports and politics than they do about God, Yahweh, and Yeshua? How many of you spend less time listening to praise music and listening to more secular music that doesn't edify you? Such as with hip-hop. Now, I ask you, how many of us have truly bowed down and created idols in and within our lives? Now, it's not too late to return to Yahweh our God and our Messiah Yeshua as you see the light now and realize what's been going on in your life. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 25, When you father children and children's children and have grown old in the land, if you act corruptly by creating or making a carved image in the form of anything, and by doing what is evil in the sight of the Lord your God, so as to provoke him to anger. I call upon heaven and earth to witness against you today that you will soon utterly perish from the land that you are going over the Jordan to possess. You will not live in it or live long in it, but will utterly be destroyed. And the Lord will scatter you among the peoples and you will be left few in numbers among the nations where the Lord will drive you. And there you will serve gods of wood and stone. The work of human hands that neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. But from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him. If you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in the tribulation and all these things come upon you in the later days. You will return to the Lord your God and obey his voice. For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not leave you or destroy you or forget the covenant with your fathers that he swore to them. So now, in this time, it is time to return to Yahweh and Yeshua, our Messiah, wholeheartedly, because the Lord alone is God. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 32. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you since the day that Yahweh created man on the earth, and ask from one end of earth to the other whether such a great thing as this has ever happened or was ever heard of. Did any people ever hear the voice of God speaking out in the midst of the fire, as you have heard, and still live? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of other nations by trials, by signs, by wonders and by war, by a mighty hand and an outreached arm and by great deeds of terror, all of which the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. To you it was shown that you might know the Lord your God. There is no other besides him out of heaven. He let you hear his voice. That he might discipline you, and on earth he let you see his great fire, and you heard the words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved your fathers and chose their offspring after them, and brought you out of Egypt with his own presence by his great power. Driving out before you greater nations and mightier ones than you, to bring you in, to give you their land for an inheritance, as it is this day. Know therefore today, and lay it to your heart, that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath. There is no other. Therefore you shall keep his statutes and his commandments, which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. Because we have a good God like no other, as he is the one and only Echad, the Shammai, the one true God. May Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Yahweh cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom.